MBA 633 Excel Tutorial 1 prepared by Professor Ahmed Tata, School of Management, George Mason University. Uh, in this tutorial, we will see how to prepare a bar chart using Excel. The worksheet that we are using is the uh, shopper's worksheet that came with the data files uh, with your textbook. In this particular file, you can see we have a list of uh, 50 customers. If you scroll down, you will see that there are 50 customers. Um, so for each of each customer, we are told which particular internet browser they use to uh, shop online. And we want to prepare a bar chart to get a count of how many customers used each type of uh, browser. So prior to doing the graphical representation, the basis for it is to get a count of how many customers used each type of uh, browser. So since we have three different types of browsers in the data file over here, let me first uh, start the counting process and uh, get that going. So I'm copying here the f name of the first browser, which is uh, Internet Explorer. Now you can type it in if you like. I'm just saving myself a little bit of typing by copying the name over. Uh, the second type of browser that was used was uh, Firefox. So I copy that name over. Uh, copying it all over also avoids uh, spelling mistakes and capitalization, things like that. So it's a safer way to do it, but if you prefer to type, that's fine too. The third type of browser that we have is everything else or other. So I copy that over. And so we have the three types of browsers here in the data set, and we want to know how many customers used each type. So let me put a heading over here. Browser type, and then we will do a frequency count. So now in order to get the counts, you can certainly go through the list manually and count, but that's uh, too painful a way to do with any reasonably sized data set. So we will use a um, built-in function, and that is the count if function. So equal to count if, and I highlight the entire data set, I enter a column containing the uh, browser names. And I say that count if you find Internet Explorer. So there are two parameters that you input to this built-in function, OK? Um, so you're essentially telling Excel, go through that entire list of browsers uh, that the 50 customers use, wherever you see Internet Explorer uh, counted, OK? And we come up with the number 27. So 27 out of the 50 uh, customers used Internet Explorer. So let's do the same with the other two types of browsers. So we have 16 customers who used Firefox, and let's see the remainder. Now, just to make uh, double sure that I haven't left anybody out, I'll add these numbers. If I've done things correctly, it should add to 50 since I have a total of 50 customers. Okay, so I have the numerical tabulation. That's the basis of the bar chart. And let me just center this column here just to make it look nice. Okay, so now I will use this as the basis for my uh, bar chart. So I highlight the three numbers the three counts of the three different types of browsers that I want to represent graphically. Then I go to Insert, and I pick Column. That's what Excel calls bar charts. I call them column charts. So um, I pick, there are many different types of column charts, two-dimensional, three-dimensional. You pick one that uh, suits your needs in terms of appearance and the information that you want to convey. I will pick the uh, simplest type, which is two-dimensional. And you can see those are the three uh, bars. Now, I prefer to have my charts on a separate page. So I'm just going to right click on the object and move the chart to a new sheet. And then I can play around with it there. So this is the basic information in the bar chart. But 
obviously we can make things much more informative. For example, on the x-axis it simply says 1, 2, and 3 for the three different types of browsers. It would be nice if we could put titles next to these bars so we know what these browsers are. So in general, with any Microsoft object, if you want to play around, fiddle around with it, you right click on it and uh, look at the options that show up on the drop down menu and then pick from that. Okay, so um, in this case, since I want to put in an x axis, I will pick select data. Now, there are lots of options here, so you will figure out what these options are just by playing around with them. It's not possible to memorize these things. The more you use them, the more you will remember. Okay, so here you can see I have the option to set up the x axis. This is horizontal axis labeled. So I click on edit, and Excel says, Okay, so where do I go to find your? labels for the x-axis and I go back to the data sheet and I say these are the three labels for the x-axis and sure enough you can see that the three names have been put there okay now if you want to play around with appearances you can right click on the bars and then add data labels a uh, whole, whole host of things so in addition to right clicking on the object that you want to play around with in terms of appearance there is a tab that you may find particularly useful and that's the layout tab and there are all kinds of options here for example you can rescale the axes you can put grid lines if you want for example let me put um, vertical grid lines also it well doesn't make it look nice so uh, let me take that away uh, sorry take the vertical grid lines out. So uh, you can see that there are all kinds of options over here to make things look nice. For example, you could put a chart, uh, a chart title uh, in the center of the graph. And um, I, I'd encourage you to try these different options out and see what they are. Again, uh, the basic idea here is to uh, uh, get the graphical representation correct first based on the numerical data and then make it look nice. There's no point working on appearances unless the numbers are correct and the physical representation of the bars is correct. So the bars are, once you know that that's a correct representation, then go ahead and make it look nice. Okay, so this is how you create a bar chart in uh, Excel 2007.